Good morning, my name is uh, Joe Wallace from uh, Malthana Property Services. Uh, I'm the Managing Director. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a proud Aboriginal uh, man from the uh, Durable people up in uh, Atherton Tablelands in far north Queensland and also the Durable people at uh, Bowen. Uh, Malthana Property Services uh, was established in uh, 2017. Uh, the language group is t meaning is to come together to help each other. So uh, we was established um, a few years back. Um, our cool three businesses that we um, service within uh, South East Queensland is, is your cleaning, uh, your landscaping, and also our minor building works that we uh, perform. Uh, at this present time, we have uh, four contracts uh, with TMR. Uh, we have uh, four sites that we clean uh, on a Monday to Friday, on a uh, five days a week, and we also do uh, COVID cleaning uh, during other day across these uh, four sites with uh, TMR. So we currently do 1,200 buses uh, across seven depots. We've been there successful to to continue the uh, the COVID cleaning across those sites. We also have a, a big contract with uh, the Cross River Rail, so uh, we've been there for uh, just over 16 months. So we first started off there with uh, cleaning three dongers on that uh, on that project, and now we have 16 sites on that project, and we have over 25 uh, staff that work uh, full time and casual um, on that project. So we, we're quite fortunate to to um, work on um, one of Queensland's biggest infrastructure projects in, in Queensland. And we've also uh, had an opportunity to pick up a contract with um, uh, Asiano uh, with a TMR project, Main Roads uh, job at Sunshine Coast. So we, we're quite fortunate and um, happy that we've, we've got that. You know, it's our, our first big um, uh, song and dance that we've won with that. And we've gone from mowing lawns to, uh, to winning a, a big major project with TMR. Yeah, um, we were quite fortunate with uh, the COVID uh, um, situation that happened is that it's uh, actually increased our, our workforce and it's also uh, uh, increased our, um, our revenue um, in terms of, um, you know, with uh, the extra cleaning that is required uh, with the pandemic in, um, in South East Queensland. When COVID hit uh, last year, uh, we were currently engaged by um, Brisbane City Council uh, to clean community halls. Uh, the opportunity came about um, to mobilise uh, over 70 cleaners in uh, 48 hours to, to combat the COVID cleaning um, on those buses. Yeah, the experience I think with the working with TMR, it's, uh, you know, it was able to give us uh, good revenue. Um, you know, part of that was able to employ more uh, Indigenous staff members from in the community. Um, to also put them through their Cert 3 in, in commercial cleaning and to look at, you know, buying um, other assets um, for our businesses, um, you know, especially within the, the landscaping. So it's, it was a very good fortunate for us that, you know, um, it was able to support us financially. Um, we have a, a great partnership with uh, Max Employment here. Um, so they was able to, to mobilise and, and get uh, indigenous staff members, um, you know, to come and work for us, especially on the um, the Brisbane City Council um, buses. Um, we also, you know, engage other Aboriginal businesses in our supply chain for our uniforms. So, you know, we're able to 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 work in together with other Aboriginal businesses. I, I look, I see the, the future with uh, TMR and um, Malthana Property Services and other um, Indigenous businesses. I think it's a there's a, a lot of projects that are happening, um, especially in South East Queensland, especially with uh, a lot of the infrastructure projects. Um, I think it's you know very beneficial that you know we get traditional owner groups and other you know um, indigenous people from the community to be involved. I'm mm -hmm. um, employed. You know my you know my passion and desires to to look at um, you know giving indigenous opportunities for uh, school leaves that are coming out of year 12 and also the mature age workers on and some of our projects that we currently work on now we have a lot of single mothers that, that work on our projects um, and you know they love cleaning so we we see that as a great opportunity to work with TMR. I think you know the, the, the advice I could actually give is that is to keep 
persistence that's the, the main thing and I think it's about you know um, don't be afraid to take smaller jobs because you don't know what the smaller jobs can do to to larger work and I think it's about you know getting your workplace health and safety you know uh, your systems in place and actually you know performing and actually delivering um, what your requirements are on, on especially government contracts and that and I think that you know, um, these things do take time and it's about, you know, being there at the right time and, you know, applying your, you know, business principles. Oh, I think, you know, the you know, the key to it is that to, you know, don't be afraid to, to push out there and, and to network and you've got to be really out there in the community, you know, to showcase your um, Indigenous businesses and the capacity and capability that you can do.